we are in Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans, Louisiana, and boy, oh boy, we are gonna take you on a tour of the Big Easy, the Crescent City. We're gonna show you the jazz, the culture, and the people, and show you what you can do in a day in beautiful New Orleans. The original Cafe Du Monde is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, closing only on Christmas Day. So get ready for a serious sugar rush because beignets are deep fried and covered in powdered sugar. Now there's a big long line out there for these uh, beignets, and tell me a little bit about them. All day the square donut uh, with no hole in it. Uh, no hole. Fried, fried donut, no, yes sir. Yeah, so basically people come down here, get a beignet, and start their day, right? That's the best way to start their day, yeah. Next stop on our day in New Orleans is the world famous French Quarter. Known originally as Vu Carre, French Quarter, or simply the Quarter, is the oldest neighborhood in the city. Established by the French in 1718, the location remains a valuable site for trade due to its strategic position on the Mississippi. The district represents a rich tapestry of international influence, like gumbo. The Quarter is a tasty stew full of surprises and magic with stunning architecture graced by balconies adorned with intricate ironwork and courtyards filled with lush greenery. The Quarter features New Orleans' most famous landmark, Jackson Square, and draws millions of visitors each year to sample unique ambience that can only be found in New Orleans. Now it's time to experience more of the city's unique attractions. For our day in New Orleans, we've selected the two that are right next to the Steamboat Natchez Wharf, the Aquarium of the Americas, and the Audubon Butterfly Garden and Insectarium. The colors of the Caribbean Reef come alive with an exciting walk-through tunnel, and visitors can touch a stingray, meet a parakeet, and get up close and personal with gigantic sharks in an immense 400,000 gallon exhibit. Just a few blocks from the aquarium, the Audubon Butterfly Garden and Insectarium is a one-of-a-kind treat and a total workout for all five senses. There is no bigger party in the country than the one that happens every year in New Orleans, and it's called Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras takes over the French Quarter every February and culminates into one gigantic party called Fat Tuesday. With roots dating back to 1699, today's Mardi Gras consists of elaborate floats parading through the streets and celebrating on every corner. If your days in New Orleans don't happen to coincide with Mardi Gras, check out Blaine Kern's Mardi Gras World. This giant warehouse is where some of the biggest and best floats call home, and where you and your family can learn about the history of Mardi Gras, see the past and present floats and exhibits, and watch as artists and craftsmen create the grandest floats from scratch. Next up on our tour is something that only happens in New Orleans. Because the city is built on a swamp, traditional burial plots are out of the question. Instead, the deceased are buried above ground in elaborate stone crypts and mausoleums. These tombs create a village-like atmosphere, which is why they are often referred to as cities of the dead. While we were in town, we stopped by E.W. Finn's in the French Quarter and had the distinct pleasure of meeting Chef Tenny Flynn. New Orleans is known for its seafood and GW Finn's is known as one of the finest seafood restaurants in town. To say that the seafood at GW Finn's is fresh is an understatement. Less than a three hour drive from the Gulf Coast, the culinary team at GW Finn's takes advantage of the abundant variety of fresh fish native to the area. If you're looking for an amazing dining experience, GW Finn's is a mandatory stop on your day in New Orleans. After experiencing a typically excellent New Orleans meal, take a quick walk around the corner to Irvin Mayfield's Jazz Playhouse in the Royal Sinesta Hotel. Known equally for excellent cuisine and music, New Orleans is widely acknowledged as the birthplace of jazz. Though live music can be experienced throughout the city, Irvin Mayfield's Jazz Club offers a classic jazz experience. Irvin's Club is on Bourbon Street in the heart of the French Quarter, and while all of New Orleans cannot be defined by this little slice of sin, the effect that Bourbon Street has on the city is undeniable. There is a casual irreverence to the place that colors the Crescent City in a boozy neon glow that beckons visitors with sights and sounds that can only be found on this wild little stretch of vintage New Orleans. It's the place where four-star restaurants go toe-to-toe -to -toe with noisy bars. Everybody bobs to the rhythm of live jazz, the party never stops, and the music keeps on playing. 
Well, here we are at the Windsor Court Hotel, ending our day in New Orleans. And boy, the Windsor Court, it's a great place. They've taken great care of us. The hospitality is amazing. The facility itself is incredible. And let me tell you what, this city, New Orleans, it's a place to see, it's a place to be. We had some beautiful food, we met some beautiful people, and listened to some incredible music. People here have a song in their heart and they care about each other. And you feel it everywhere you go. So if you ever get the chance, get out to New Orleans, you won't regret it. And until you get the chance to be here, I want you to do something for me. Just remember to enjoy.